What's up guys? So we are headed to Alabama Hills right now. We can start to see some of the mountains, especially out here. Uh, we are gonna do one night here. We're probably gonna sleep in the car if we sleep. We're gonna shoot right when we get there. It's probably four hours from sunset. Uh, we're gonna shoot sunset, shoot stars, shoot sunrise as much as we can. So we'll see what we come up with. Made it to Alabama Hills. It's pretty hot. Not many clouds in the sky. We're getting some good drone footage. We'll stay for the night. I'm gonna try to get some star stuff. Look who I found. What up? <laughs> this is Carson. Carson was on our most recent workshop, and now what have you done? How many days on the road? Uh, 30. Well, we're going on 38 days. This is the 11th day. We started in Michigan, Colorado, Utah, um, Cali. Cali. Joshua Tree, now we're here. We're doing like 10,000 miles. Nuts. Countdown. I'm gonna fly forward and when I count down, I'm gonna go three, two, one. When I hit one, start walking and or running, whichever you prefer. So we're out here right now, it's sunset. We're not really shooting just because this is a sunrise spot. So we're gonna have a busy morning, but we did get some cool drone stuff. Right now we're climbing to the top just for fun. Homies are down there. Cars are right around that corner. I think we're probably gonna sleep here for the night. But just enjoying sunset. We'll get some cool shots in the morning. Here we got done shooting stars around two ish, maybe two thirty. Uh, it's five fifteen. We're heading back to the same spot for Sunday. How are you feeling? It's hard. Yeah. Two hours of sleep in the Corolla again. I'm just waiting for the sun to light up these peaks. So we had a crazy night shooting the stars. Um, we were using an LED light to light up Mobius Arch and pretty much any foreground we were doing. I think we got some really good stuff. Um, everyone's dead. I think I'm only one out of the car of the four of us right now. But these are lighting up, so couldn't miss this one. Um, I'm gonna shoot on the 85 to try and get Mount Whitney. Then just some wide shots with the road. Nothing special, I've just never shot here with this light. How are you feeling? I'm tired. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I got some 60 millimeter shots with kind of like the whole skyline of the mountains. Uh, I got some 35 with the leading lines of the road, which were pretty cool. And I got some 85s of Mount Whitney. And that's the tallest mountain actually in America. And then I've got a time lapse running of that, of the light coming down. I'm just gonna put up the drone for anything yeah, else. But shots look pretty good. What's up guys? So after our morning shoot at Alabama Hills, we drove up to Whitney Portal. We got a nice close view of Mount Whitney. And now, surprisingly, we found 
this massive waterfall. That's pretty cool. But I think that's it for this episode. We got a lot of sick drone stuff, a lot of sick star stuff. We got some okay shots in the morning, but all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. So to the computer. All right guys, so after getting really little sleep on our night in Alabama Hills, this is a shot from sunrise the following morning. I'm gonna start with this one and then I'm gonna edit a star photo after, but that one's gonna take much longer. So I just wanted to get this done first. Um, it's a tough night. We met up with our homies, Carson and David, but we ended up sleeping in the car. Didn't get much sleep, <laughs> very tired and exhausted, but we still got some cool photos and tons of really cool drone stuff. So it was definitely worth it. Um, for this shot, there's really not much you can do, um, but I'm just going to hit a basic edit, maybe do some sharpening. Um, but yeah, to be honest, the photo just really needs to speak for itself. This was shot on 85 mil 85 millimeter on APS-C mode. So whatever that equates to like a hundred something millimeters. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to hit a quick edit. I want the whites to be as high as I can get them without them looking overexposed. So probably there. Uh, up the vibrance, up the dehaze, and for this one, I'm gonna drop the hue of the blues towards an aqua, and I'm gonna up the luminance of those. And for the oranges, I don't want to saturate them because they're already extremely saturated from the sunrise, but I do want to saturate the yellows. Um, it doesn't look like it does much, but it does just kind of slightly enhance some stuff down here. Um, to be honest, there's not really much else I'd do to this photo. Um, maybe bring up the luminance just a little bit more on the blues. But really, that's it. I'm going to dive more in depth on the second second image for you guys. And for our second photo, I'm going to be going over a star shot at Mobius Arch in Alabama Hills, California. My settings for this were 16 millimeter on my 1635 G Master, uh, f2.8, 20-second exposure with ISO 1600. And the reason that this foreground is so well lit is because we were using an LED flashlight. So we would be turning it on, giving it one quick, uh, like kind of swipe across the whole landscape and frame, and then we would turn it off. So the light would only be on the photo for about half a second to one second, but it was a really strong LED light. So it was just enough to get really nice lighting. But if you look like it took a lot of trial and error, like right here, pitch black because there's a shadow and I think we were actually lighting it from over here. So whatever rock was here, cast a really bad shadow, moved over for this one, turn the camera a little bit. And I think it looks awesome. Um, so I have not edited this one yet. So I'm going to hit the lens corrections, basic edit. Uh, I'm going to crank the shadows quite a bit because the star is pretty dark in this one. Drop the highlights probably all the way actually just for now up the vibrance and I'm definitely not stoked on the color on this and the white balance but I'm going to fix that in Photoshop but put in a graduated filter filter here it's just way too bright to the point where it just looks <laughs> too good to be true which it kind of is I'm really stoked on this photo but it's just a lot. So take that out and I'm just going to delete it so you can see before there and then undo, make that after, like definitely helps big time. Now I'm going to pull this into Photoshop. All right. So now that we're in Photoshop, make a copy of my background layer, command J and I'm going to mess with the sky first because the rock, I'm actually pretty okay with the color on that and the white balance, but the sky definitely not so much. So I'm going to drop the temperature quite a bit, drop the tint a little bit as well, maybe a little bit too much on each. But something like that looks pretty good and I'm going to crank the whites and then drop the contrast because I really want the stars to come through but I don't want it to be too contrasty and crunchy. So drop the contrast, 
Still looks a little bit purple back there. Maybe right there. And then I'm going to put a layer mask on this. I'm going to invert it. And then this time I actually am going to make a selection because this is a pretty clear cut. It should be relatively easy. So now I've got all that selected. Just want to get the inside of this selected as well. Sometimes it goes over. So to reverse your selection, you're going to be holding option and then just clicking whatever you want to not be selected, which in this case is the arch. Make sure you get all of it. And Photoshop is smart. So like even if you have to go back and forth in the beginning, as you do this, like it definitely picks up on what you're trying to do. Like that's better now. I just need to cut that part out. And the option click again just to make sure that all the arch is not selected. So now I'm just going back and forth between clicking and also clicking while holding option. Because I really want this to be a good selection. Looks pretty good to me. So now I'm going to grab my brush tool, white brush, normal, let's do opacity 100. And now I'm just going to brush in the effect we did. All right, now that it looks like I've got everything brushed, I'm going to do my backslash key. Looks like we got everything except for maybe a little streak right here. But everything else we got now, I'm going to hit backslash again, command D to deselect that. And now pretty much I just want to come in and make sure there's no weird blending or rollover. I don't think there will be because that was a pretty clean selection. But there is a little bit. So I'm going to grab my brush while nothing is selected. And these areas, I'm just going to get, oops, actually want to want a black brush. I just don't want any of this kind of like blue and green white balance to go over onto the arch. So just doing cleanup. I think that's it for that. And I mean, that looks way better. To be honest, I mean, this is a pretty clean photo. It's it's not really that edited, just basic editing and change of white balance. I think I'm just gonna leave this at that. Um, yeah, I'm pretty stoked about that. So that is gonna be it for this one, guys, but I hope you enjoyed it and we will see you on the next one. Thank you.